Howdy folks. Well, I don't normally do gear review videos. When I do, there's humor and a life lesson involved, so pay attention. <laughs> and don't do what I did. Learn from my mistake, in other words. Uh, around the Christmas season of 2020, my lovely wife asked me if there was anything I desired, and I said, well, you know what? I haven't gotten a new hatchet in a while, and I happened to find one the other day on Amazon that had a spiffy yellow color scheme to it. It's made in Germany, and by a good company, I thought, and I would just think that would be neater than, neater than neat, so... Christmas Day arrives, I open my present, and there's my beautiful new hatchet. This is, uh, and I'm probably going to goof that all up, but I think that would be pronounced Ochsenkopf. And the company is Gidor, which hopefully you can see that if I, I don't know, the, the lettering on that one's not all that great. But I looked it over, and at first glance it seemed pretty nice. Decent fit for the uh, the handle to uh, head. Well, then I I started looking at it a little closer, and I'm not sure how well it's going to show. But that blade has a distinctive swoopy to it. It actually kind of curves this way, gently, but it does. If if I could have figured out, I tried to figure out a way to put it on a you know use a straight edge to show it but I would have needed some kind of lighting apparatus to show behind the straight edge and it just didn't seem worth it. You're just gonna have to trust me, the blade's got a little bit of a bend. Here's where the learn from my mistake part comes in. Uh, was fully intending on returning it. They, these are, I think they were about $52. Um, and, oops, shiny chicken. Well, the next thing I knew, I, I noted on the Amazon orders section that the return window had closed, so dang it. Well, I guess I've got a little bit of a, a bent bladed hatchet, so I didn't think it's the end of the world, although for $51 in German engineering it shouldn't be bent. Let's just put it that way. <clears throat> Why at that very moment I did not pull it off the watch list is a mystery that probably will never be solved. I did not. So, fast forward to the Christmas season of 2022, and my, my lovely wife, once again, saw this and thought, well, that's pretty spiffy. I'm going to get that for him for Christmas. <laughs> well, um, imagine my surprise when I opened the box. Now I thought, okay, maybe they can redeem themselves here, and things have improved in the interim. Well, unfortunately, they have not. In fact, I think they've gotten a little worse. The The fit on the, the handle, the hatchet, the head part is not quite as good. I don't know if you can see this, but this, this part of the wedge is really kind of up, whereas the other one, it's all nice and smooth across here. And the, the ultimate kicker, and this one really doesn't show very well at all, but again, you're going to have to trust me. This section of the blade has actually got a kind of severe little bend to it. So, it's the actual blade is straight, but or the actual head is straight, I guess I'd say, but, but this part of it is not, and unfortunately between the two, this is the worst one. This one, I believe because it's such a gentle bend, I don't think there'll ever be a problem. This being right on the striking edge, I wouldn't trust that even with safety glasses. I, I would be very much afraid if you hit a hard, a hard knot or just a, you know like a submerged branch or something if you're cutting a piece of wood. That that would worry me. So thankfully we learned from our mistake and we've you know the return process is is going so. That was, uh, she said, hey, make that video so we can get that thing back in a box and get it shipped back to them. But, and the other thing I know is, honestly, it doesn't look like the, the metal finish is quite as good on this one. Like, it's got more ripples in it. And I'm kind of a hatchet snob, but I think for 51 bucks you ought to expect a little better than that. 
This one, like I said, other than the bend, the actual the the finish on the metal seems to be a little nicer, and it doesn't seem to have quite as much. Ah, uh, there's a little bit there, but again, <clears throat> in hand, I think this one, the, the old original one, is in much better better shape. And since I don't have any choice but to return or to keep it anyway, my wife suggested just pick the best of the two, and we would return the uh, you know the the worst one, but. As it turns out, the original one is the best of the two, so I don't even have to cheat. But, so if you're looking for a, a small, nicely built hatchet, I would look elsewhere. That's just my recommendation, but again, learn from my mistake. Don't get one with the swoopy in the blade. Although, I gotta admit, that yellow is pretty spiffy looking, so maybe hanging on the wall it'll be a nice object to art <laughs> all right folks learn from my mistake and thank you for watching